Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use the mid function in Excel. Here I have some data in cell A2 so I have the name of my website in cell A2. Now let me show you how the mid function works. So I type MIT and hit tab to autocomplete the function. Mid function takes three arguments. First is the text from which you want to extract a string. So you can either manually type it into the formula or you can give a cell reference. The second is the start number. So you tell the function where you want to start extracting, what number of character should be your starting point. And number of characters is the number of characters that you want to extract. So you start from this number and you extract these many characters from the text string. So let me show you how this works. Let me first manually type hello in this function. My start number here is one and I want to get two characters starting from the first character in this text string. So I hit enter and it gives me H E. So it starts looking from the first character which is H and it returns two strings, two characters from there. So it returns H and E. Now let's see what happens when I use a cell reference. So I reference cell A2 which has the text Trump Excel. I give the starting position as 7 and the number of characters as 5. Now before I hit enter, let's see what we should expect here. So if I say 7, then it starts from T from Trump Excel and it counts T, R, U, M, P and a space. So these are 6. The 7th is E from Excel. So it starts from the 7th character which is E and it extracts the 5 characters which is E, X, C, E, L. So we get Excel here. Now if I again use the same cell reference but I give the start number as 15 which is longer than the length of the string of Trump Excel. So Trump Excel is a 12 character string but I've given the start number as 15 and I give the number of characters as 5 or anything it would return a blank because it starts from the end of the string and then it has to return certain number of characters which are not there so it returns a blank. Now let's see what happens when I give the number of characters which is larger than the string so I again give a2 I say start from the beginning of the string and give me 15 characters. Now since there are not 15 characters in this string, it will return whatever there is in that in that string. So it returns the entire word Trump Excel here in this cell. While I can give a, a number which is longer than the string, I am not allowed to give any negative number as the start number. So if I give uh, start number as minus one it would return an error and same is the case with the number of characters if I give it as a negative so here if I give it as negative then it returns an error so this is how mid function works in Excel I hope you found this useful thank you and have a nice day